we're all friends of the Fallout universe. Yeah. The the Fallout, the Bethesda Fallout universe, the WWE universe. <laughs> I'm trying to think about, I hate the WWE universe. It's the worst acronym thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. Vince McMahon jumping off things. Anyway, right. Fallout. You reviewed Fallout 4 for GameSpot mm. last year. Uh, you've played a bunch of it. I've played a bunch yeah. of it. Yeah, I've put 150 hours into that campaign. Um, and I, you know, finished the Automatron DLC. Yeah. And then, I know you're getting at, <laughs> is the survival mode. Yeah, so this is data. what they, yeah. they didn't put into the game originally. It was in New Vegas, hardcore mode. They have a hardcore mode in Fallout 4, but it's just well, they, like... They called it survival mode, oh, but, it, did, but yeah. it wasn't... Basically, it's like, this is like 2.0 survival mode, yeah. right? Like, they added more things to it. Yeah, but the, um, what's coming out now, the beta, well, it's in beta right. now, it's coming now out it's soon, sure. is survival mode proper, which... Adds a significant amount of changes to Fallout 4. Like, not even like, oh, we've like made ammo carry, you know, has encumbrance Wait, again. Yeah. It's like, do the list. What, what do we got? So, the, it's, it's a pretty fat list. So, yes, uh, ammo now takes weight. Mini nukes that you carried around with, like, you know, not to take for granted, they're 12 pounds each. Right. Stim packs. You can't carry, you know, I think many people can agree by the end of the game, you have like 300 stim packs <laughs> yeah. and you're playing on very hard. Like I know I've heard people tell me this, you, you can just spam your way out of it, but yeah, those have weight now. So you can only take like, you know, roughly 10 around. Um, wow. you now factor in hunger, thirst and fatigue so you can get tired. The only way you can save the game is by sleeping in a bed or mattress that okay. are, and you see them everywhere, which is suspicious <laughs> to me at least. <laughs> Uh, and then the real kicker is there's no fast travel. And there's other things down the, that they tacked on, including, you know, you take more damage, you can deal more damage, um, and you get also things. So it, food, health, and fatigue factor your, your AP bar now, okay. which is like your VATS and your sprint. If you don't manage any of those three, it takes away like RADs due to health, so you eventually lose all those. So if you don't do anything, you can't run anymore in like <laughs> in like less than you know twenty minutes. Right. So you have to basically keep that in, in in check. And it also affects what they now introduce is your immune system. So right. yeah, I didn't talk about this in the video I I did over the weekend, but um, that also means that uh, animals who are um, poisonous or um, you can eat, basically you can like break your bones easier. Oh god! You can you can get illnesses like different types of illnesses, which some of them can only be cured if you go to a doctor. <laughs> so like, you just, it's a tough life out there. And I love it. I mean, it, yeah, it, it seems like they could have just done the, oh, we're gonna add in a bunch more, you know, health, fatigue, water management systems in here, like we're in New Vegas and like we're in the right. old fallouts. But it seems like they've gone like full, like the long dark on this, where yeah. if you jump off something too high, you'll break your leg. And mm -hmm. then you have to walk, the whole way, like taking a fast travel completely is like, yeah. holy shit. And, and there are things that I like really agree with or agree strongly with. And some things I think that could be toned back, like fast travel is pretty, br pretty brutal. Yeah. Like not to have it at all is real brutal. And there's no like a la carte menu where you can say, oh, I want like this, this is okay. But like, let's turn fast travel back on. Sure. And what I hope to come out of this is, you know, specific mods that cater to like breaking these, this whole mode, uh, you know, down to like mm. its core. But you know, you can at least, like, you could confidently say, like, okay, well, what about fast travel, like, a little bit? You know, like, in between settlements. Or, right, Witcher style. Or, yeah, mm. Witcher style, yeah, posts, whatever. Um, but the but taking out fast travel, to me, was really cool in that, okay, now I'm looking at a map that, like, I can't just warp to an area I haven't been or, like, you know, close by. Now I'm, like, required to, like, explore again. Mm. Like, kind of like what the first third of your experience was, was like seeing all these cool new places. Yeah. But once you start fast traveling between them, you're not getting any of the random encounters. You're not mm. getting like a lot of this breathing world that eventually by the end of the game, you just don't, you don't see anymore. Yeah. And so like when I played just recently, I like had to go to a different area because the game still has like those side quests that are like procedur procedurally generated yeah. where it's like, hey, I, judging by your map, we don't think you've, you've been over here. So now these things open up, and as does that lane that you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. So like I was, you know, 150 hours in this game, and I'm like walking through an area that I've never, I've never been. Yeah. And that like, that's also like scary though, right? Because then you don't super scary. necessarily want to go off the beaten path. Because yeah. like in your video, you had this yeah. whole thing where it was like, okay, you like woke up in the morning, so you had the most daytime because at nighttime it gets like 
harder yeah. or like so you, I'm scared I'm, I'm scared of the dark <laughs> and you like brought, you brought like these weapons because you were doing this type of mission right but then you're like oh there's a sewer I'll just go in the sewer because it's a Fallout game and you do whatever the exactly. hell you want exactly but you, then suddenly yeah. you're like oh no I shouldn't have done this I'm getting that, like swarmed by people I'm getting swarmed by people uh, I'm now drinking sewage because I'm, <laughs> I'm that thirsty uh, that's what the doctor ordered yeah right I'm, and you know that's the craziest is like the more you the more you drink, uh, you know, uh, water that isn't purified, mm. the more rads you get. Okay, well, then I think, oh, well, I'll just pop a couple of these radaways. Yeah. Uh, guess what? Those make you insanely dehydrated. <laughs> so next thing you know, you're just digging a grave, and it's real cool. And yeah, and the, the, the craziest thing... <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, you know, it's a survival... I don't know. I love survival games, like, you know me, so this, like, hits yeah. home. But, like, the other thing which I really adored was, like, okay, now I can't carry as much goddamn ammo as I like. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, if it's the one thing that, like, you walk into a room in that game, you're like, all right, where's the ammo? I'm mm. taking all that. Right. I'm, I'm like, you know, souping up my, my abilities to, to get more ammo because I know I can just flip that, like, no problem. Yeah, sell it. Yeah, sell it. Like, no. You have to pick... I'm going through my ammo. Like, I'm taking, like, 100 bullets, 150 bullets for each of these guns because that's all I can, like, afford to carry. <laughs> and I get down there and I run out of ammo <laughs> so this is the coolest part was like i'm picking up a damn pipe pistol something that like you got over like within the you know first two hours of the damn game You're like screw these pieces of shit <laughs> i'm using this thing to like to survive like it was just wild i'm like how is this possible the game is making me use a crap weapon oh. like it's, it's, it's it almost wild. sounds like it's this cool. is the way fallout was like meant to be played that's the way i felt when he told me and i gave the game a nine i gave it a really high score but mm. like Man, I would have given it a higher nine. <laughs> just uh, and, and like touching on like uh, you know, the, the, I think I think what a lot of people agreed on was like why why do I need to build a base? Right. Oh why, yeah. This why was, right. am I building a base? Yeah. Like I was into it. I got you. You get into the idea, and then you're like, this is really janky, and I don't even know. Yeah. Like I'm just coming back here. And then they're like, more my crap up. <laughs> yeah. like I'm just. And then the they're fence. like, "Oh, build another one. Build another settlement. Why do build I want to build like, another? Why would I want to build?" I, another you kind one? of a, you, like I enjoyed it just for the sake of it because it was like, yeah. "Ah, it's like a fun thing to do." But you're right; there was like no utility to it. And so then you realize, like, with this game mode, I mean, it's hard to say whether like this was like you know on the back burner the entire time this game was made. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going that far. But what becomes apparent is like, okay, I'm looking at my map. I got Diamond City in the middle. That's a safe safe haven. You know, Sanctuary in the top. If I just made, you know. Two southeast and southwest bases. I got my stuff covered. Now, I, now I don't have to go all the way home. I can establish those supply lines that they like try right. to incentivize. But like, who cares? Yeah, I'm going back to the same place every single time. So you just start realizing, like, all right, here is now a map that I'm thinking about routes and like waypoints and and making that efficient and, and mm. as far as travel and um, yeah, yeah. It almost like makes. All sense. that stuff makes way more sense, like yeah. in the context of the wider game. Yeah. Is there a benefit to sleeping on a real bed than to a mattress? Yeah, there. Are, uh, so there's like you know, if you can imagine the world, you walk into a building, and there's like just a mattress mm. or a sleeping bag. The sleeping bag would be the lowest of them. You you get so you get tired and you need to sleep. Uh, a sleeping bag will only take X amount of that fatigue away, just oh. like in real life. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> you want to sleep in a real bed. Like I'm sick of this. Um, so you have to eventually to wipe that fatigue clean. You have to stay uh, or sleep in you know like a like a nice bed, mm. uh, like and a, like a California king, <laughs> right? What kind of thread count are we talking on the sheets? Over a thousand. Jesus. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough life. Uh, Jeff four hundred four says this is how this game should have shipped. <laughs> kind yeah. of feels that way, well, a yeah, bit, yeah. right? Just bits, I mean, just bits of it that seem like like everything as far as cooking, like you right. see cooking stations, like yeah. and cool. Now, now you're like oh. Uh, yeah, of course. Water, boil it. But of course, <laughs> now I'm making food. I'm making a sandwich because what else does it do? It eliminates my hunger and it gives me health. And it's and delicious. It, and it's less. <laughs> and, it's, and it's delicious. <laughs> and probably less encumbrance because you're taking all these individual items and combining them. Right. And like, certain, um, you know, like a death cloth steak. I think oh, gives you so like much health. And not health, but like uh, I think some type of perk. You know, oh, like really? uh, virility. <laughs> <laughs> Massive hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like you compare that to stim packs, like stim packs eventually seem like, well, why not go for the twofer? You're right. Right. Like, that, yeah, they, they give you so much more. Like stim packs almost become less, like, uh, less important. Yeah, and also uh, another big one, which is actually really terrifying too, like where 
Um, stim packs, uh, you know, again, like toward the end of the game, you know, you got 300 of these things. You're just, you're just like, oh, as you're taking damage, you're just hitting, you know, mashing one. I'm yeah. fine. Uh, <laughs> quick save, quick save. One, yeah, one, right. Quick save, yeah. Exactly. Now, uh, I think the stim packs take like triple amount of time. <laughs> Like so, two minutes. So when I first did it, I was like, "All right, no problem." Hit it, and you see your health like taking away the slow. It's like, well, I better get out of this fight then. Like you're booking it like out because I mean, the the combat just slows down significantly because yeah. you're just scared. I don't know, being this, scared in in this game like had its effect. I feel like in the in the early stages, and then by the end of it, you got. I mean, you get power so early on. Yes. But also... I mean, you like, fight a bloody death claw in the first 10 minutes of this game. Right. Well, yeah. And also, here's another good one, is is uh, power armor, you can take a lot more weight. Right. Like, a lot. I think it's like almost double. And I remember thinking like, all right, well, no problem. I'm, I'm over encumbered, but I'll just put on my power armor. It's like 10 more slots. Oh, right. And so it's nothing. Yeah. So it's right. like nothing at all. Like, power armor... Is just something that you can use as like a defensive measure. Like you're not like able to like carry more stuff. So does that mean you can, your companions can't carry like That's everything as well? Yeah. Right. That is diminished as well to the same extent. Where like you're you're already your inventory is cut in half. They yeah. can take about half amount of oh, stuff too. Great. But yeah. now you got these robots. Like I can go on forever. Now you got these robots <laughs> who like from uh, Automatron. Automatron, which are like again, like you play the single player campaign of that, and it's like all right, I'm done. Mm. Now what do I do? Now these robots are even like more essential because you start can like you know you get really nit nitpicking gritty. We're like, okay, I'm gonna like pimp out one of my robots and just have this person just carry yeah. or be able to carry and just be like a you know walking <laughs> store like a mule. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like along. So you can like customize your like robots to paint that or like one of them. I um, the one I was using, I put on like um, a regenerating health field. Right. Uh, oh, uh, cool. Yeah. So like it, when I'm out of combat, she'll like. Uh, boost my health up. Oh wow! Automatically. So, anyways, sick. God, that's pretty cool. Uh, last point on this, I guess, is actually, yeah. What I want to ask you is: Does this is in beta? It's not actually. It's a free update. It's uh, it's not out yet for everyone. Right. How did you Steam. opt into the beta? Was it difficult? No, it's it's. Oh, as far as like how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's only PC. There's that right feature now. in like every game. You know, you go to properties and it's like the beta section. You just you turn it on. But I will say, man. It was rough it as far as crashing. Really? Yeah, yeah, like crashed the desktop like so often. I'm in the forums and everyone's just crying. Like, yeah, my saves are now messed up. Oh god! Like, Actually, thank god. And so I finally got to work doing whatever it was. You know, like windowed mode. I don't even. Yeah. Know. Um, yeah. Bunch of just random stuff. But Windows but, XP compatibility mode. Oh, I <laughs> was really good. Uh, I got to work, but like you know, it's you know beta. And what about the player level? Like, would did you would you start the game with this or did you go in with like right. a higher level character? No, I, I so I went in with like a level forty nine, right? Uh, and that was still really difficult to play. This game from a new save would be insane, right? Just like that first. I mean, I'm thinking up until power armor, like, yeah, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. That's it's cool. yeah, but it's totally like you know if if the game for I feel like so many people like halfway through it just gets boring and not challenging, and yeah, you still totally. want to retain your character. Holy shit, this is the way to go. Flick it on. All right. Yeah. Rob, thank you so much. For no talking about Fallout 4 survival mode.